Hello, hello everyone. I wanted to show you my new set for the next quarter of the year. So when June ended, I knew July, August, and September were coming. So I switched up my planner. I archived the previous quarter. And I just wanted to show you this beauty. I'm also going to show you a picture of my hair that I had done. <laughs> because it matches it matches this under the star melody by planners anonymous so um <clears throat> this cover also has a matching planner charm absolutely gorgeous and another thing you may notice <laughs> is my nails are stained a little bit purple especially this guy right here so i don't normally get my hair colored and so um, I washed it yesterday and this is from washing it. I didn't know that because I colored my hair purple, blue, and pink <laughs> that um, it was going to stain my hands. So I'm a total amateur. I didn't know I was supposed to wear gloves. So um, yeah. Anyways, um, but I'll fix that later. So I just kind of wanted to give you a quick little walkthrough um, of my planner setup for the next three months. It's actually for the next four months because I went ahead and I included October because I felt like this planner is going to be really cute also for October and then I'm also figuring that November and December December planners anonymous will probably come out with a very special um holiday planner cover so I'll go ahead and move into that when that comes out so this one actually is going to go ahead and carry me through um, October. So I just wanted to show you. Um, I love these Melody um, planners, planner covers by Planners Anonymous because they're convertible and you can do all kinds of stuff. As you can see, I have a couple of things that are on strings. And then I have my disc bound planner um, tucked into the pocket here. So it, it can accommodate for that as well. So I just wanted to give you a quick little run through. So on the strings, I just have this pocket that I had um, from another Planners Anonymous kit and it has um, some stickers and stuff like that in there. And then um, while I was getting ready to deck this planner out, I found a couple of things from the Honey Bee Shop that would complement it really, really well. Um, these two things I carried over from my previous planner setup. So this little doggy is the cutest little thing and he makes me so happy. He's from a, a, a shop on Etsy. And then this is from the Honey Bee Shop. And then this is from um, Planners Anonymous. This is from their um, Under the Stars um, themed subscription kit. And then um, I have my birthdays. Um, I just have a, a, a TN that's in, in here that um, is for birthdays. And I just use Planners Anonymous um, patterned paper from the um, Under the Stars kit to cover that so it'll match everything. And then this is also from the Honey Bee Shop. And it's just for stickers. And so I have all kinds of different stickers in here, like especially my Zoom meeting ones. Um, and then um, we go into the planner part. So this is my cover again, use Planners Anonymous subscription kit papers, and it's just perfect. Um, added a decal with my name on it. Added this um, pocket. This is also from the Planners Anonymous um, kit. This was their mystery item, and it's great because it fits their quote cards perfectly. So I can always change this out um, if I want to throughout the next couple of months. And then um, I make my own planner inserts. Um, they are B6 sized, but I punch them for discs. Um, and that's how I kind of do my planner. It's been working for me all year. So, um, and then I used some Honey Bee Shop die cut, monthly um, calendar die cuts that I had in my stash. I found all kinds of super cute stuff from the Honey Bee Shop like this. I wish I could incorporate this as well because it just matches my planner so well. So I'm gonna have to um, see how I can add that. But anyway, so here's July. And since we started our first week of July, hence me setting up my planner, um, I went ahead and used the Under the Stars subscription kit. This is the sec second time I used it, but I have plenty left over. Um, I used my subscription kit stickers and washi, and I also used um, the vertical sticker kit that Planners Anonymous has on their website. Um, 
I also use that as well. And I love these little minis. Look at how cute they are. They're like peeking through. So this is for this week. So I have my um, kind of week at a glance up here. And then I use Dutch Door Dailies. Okay, so I haven't written much because just started today. <laughs> um, but these are what my dailies look like. And they came out super cute. I really love them. And then um, in the back of my week, I have room for a whole bunch of lists because I am a list person. So those are all my lists. And then it just continues into the next week. And as you can see, it's all blank. All my dailies are blank. It hasn't been decorated. So every week I decorate my blank um, template. Um, and then um, here is the start of August. Just added some deco. Again, the Honey Bee Shop um, calendar die cuts. And then um, September. And then, like I mentioned, October. <laughs> Go ahead and stuck that in there. And then I just have um, some acetate here. Um, and I have um, to track my happy mail orders that come in. Um, I'm trying to do a no spend in July. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but I'm going to try. So hopefully these remain blank. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I have the tall um, skinny notepad. Um, from Planners Anonymous. It's available on their website. And then um, there's some three credit card or business card slots here. I didn't use them yet, but I'm sure I will over the next four months. And then uh, Planners Anonymous pen. So I love the way this turned out. Um, it's super cute, super functional, and I'm so excited. I thought maybe I wasn't going to like the black um, that much, but to tell you the truth, I love it. I com now that it's all set up, I completely love it, and I don't understand why I dragged my feet to get this planner cover. It's perfection. So um, anyway, happy, happy, happy to move um, into this planner, and as you can see, it's kind of already chunky, <laughs> and I just started, but it's going to fit just fine. Um, I do this often with my melodies, and they turn out just fine. So um, another reason why I love the melodies, there's another pocket here in the back. And then I, this is so genius. So this is the, um, the closure and it's on elastic. So your planner can get chunky, chunky, chunky and still close, or it can be nice and neat and normal size and still have a nice tight close. So I really, 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 um, love that about these planners. Let's see if I can close this. <laughs> Gotta stretch it a little bit, but you see, it looks just fine. It looks fantastic and it holds a pen and all that good stuff. So, anyway, just wanted to show you um, my planner setup. I'm also gonna show you my hair, which is really exciting. And I know it's not gonna last forever, but the next time I wash it, I shall wear gloves. All right, you guys, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.